been a babysitter before? It's not easy, you know. Nick and Pammy say their kid brothers are quiet babies that sleep a lot. It should be easy as pie. You'll probably fall asleep when the babies do. You love to sleep. And with the money I make, I'll buy a toy train engine. I've always wished I had a toy train engine. Oh, Nick and Pammy must have come to get you. Hello there, Hi, everybody. everybody. Can you come over now? Mommy's all ready for us to leave. Right. Ah. Bye. Be good now. Now you be good, babies, and don't give Rue Bear any trouble, all right, dear? <laughs> Take care of our triplets. Look after them, Rue Bear. Bye. Have a good time. Now then, let's go inside and play! Yeah! Play! Play! Play back! 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 Bad. 
I'm getting well ahead of those expert swimmers. This makes 56 laps. Last was 78! Now, 79! Oh, I just can't swim any farther. the money today. Money, Wilbur! Where'd you have to get two each? There you go. Two more. That's it. Thank you very much, sir. Let's go home. No! Two no more each, please. But you've already had two ice cream cones apiece. We, we tell, tell secrets. Secret. Tell secret? Oh, what do you mean? Don't, Don't tell, tell anybody we say baby from drowning! Six more! Uh, six more cones! Two, four, six. Thanks again, sir. Six more! I, I can't anymore! See that? Rubber's money is all gone. We yeah, tell secret! If you eat more ice cream, you'll have a stomach ache. What's going on, Rubear? Hi, Betty. You don't look very happy. Oh, no, I'm fine, thanks. Tell us, What secret? Oh, it's nothing at all, Betty. I I'm babysitting the penguin triplets. Say, Betty, any chance you can lend me some money? Sure I can. But what's the secret they've got? Oh, uh, thanks, Betty. It's nothing. It's... Oh, it it's because they're having more ice cream than they're supposed to. Oh, well, I won't tell anybody. I'll keep the secret, too. You didn't have any ice cream yourself, Rubear. Nah, uh, I just didn't feel like it. Well, that's funny. You love ice cream. Let's tell secret! secret! You're acting funny, too. There, I, I think I should take you home now. What well, those things? I guess they mean they want those balloons. <laughs> You greedy kids! You know I haven't got any more money! Secret! Yeah. Oh, Betty, can you lend me some more money for those balloons? Let me see here. That's all I've got. Don't forget to pay me back, Ruver. I won't forget, Betty. I don't think boys should be looking after babies. They make very poor babysitters. What do you mean? Now, don't be angry. And cheer up. You still look awful sad. And don't forget my money. Bye. But then we go straight home. It's time for your nap. I spent all the money I managed to save. And I borrowed money from Betty. I'll have to pay her back. Now there's no way I'll be able to get that toy train engine. Blue Bear? 
My goodness. Hey, Rue Bear, wake up. Come on, Rue Bear. Huh? Oh, oh, gee, I, I'm sorry. I guess I must have fallen asleep, huh? That's all right, Rubert. These three little rascals probably wore you right out. <laughs> I bet they gave you a hard time. <laughs> they work as a team, those three. It's awful when they gang up on you. Uh, Rubert, we brought a little present for you. Open it, Rubert. I hope you like it. It's something you said you wanted. I told them you wanted it. A toy engine! Oh, thank you so much. I thought I'd never get one because my money was all... Your money was what? Secret! Huh? Huh? <laughs> yes, it's a secret. The Little Koala will be right back after these messages. Nick Jr. wants to take you to a magical new world. It's a world that lies deep in the forest, where you'll find elves, spirits, wizards, and fairies. It's the secret world of the gnomes. Gnomes are little people with funny hats and big hearts who are friends with all of the animals in the forest. Now, every weekday, you can journey to this special place. We're waiting to welcome you. The world of David the Gnome. Every weekday, right after Maple Town, on Nick Jr. Listen carefully. Now you can watch the continuing adventures of Belle and Sebastian every weekday morning on Nick Jr. But if any of these guys find out that Belle and Sebastian are around, this dog is doomed. I'm going to capture the white monster if it's the last thing I do. I want you to get that white dog. You have to get by me first. Belle, I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. Can Sebastian keep his promise? Find out on Belle and Sebastian. Bright and early weekday mornings on Nick Jr. Some of my favorite words are elastic. Elastic is this kind of stuff that when you pull it, it stretches. Um, if you pull it, it would stretch like this. Hypnotizing. Whatever you're hypnotized to do, you do. Sometimes. I hypnotized my mom to give me a hundred bucks oh, to a blossom. I think it's like some slime that ghosts give off. Ghosts are made of. Nickelodeon! Nick is kids. Yeah, it is. You're watching Nick Jr. And now back to The Little Koala. Oh, I mustn't forget the salt and pepper. Oh, it's empty. Oh. Uh -uh. Papa, did you hear a noise? Why, Papa's gone. Did you hear that crash? I think it was down in the kitchen. Well, just sit and wait till the pie is baked. Papa! Papa, what are you doing down here so early? Good morning. Oh, I just woke up early and found I was very hungry. So you're cooking something? That's about it. You see, I figure a man has to be able to look after himself even when it comes to cooking. I think my eucalyptus pie is ready. Your pie looks delicious. Yeah, yeah nice. nice. Uh, good pie, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, dear. That's pretty good pie, don't you think? Ruby, you like it? Not very much. Sorry, Papa, but it's not the way I like it. Well, how about you, Laura? Don't you think it's good pie? No, I just don't like the taste of it. What do you mean? I think I made that pie just right. I like it better when Mommy makes it. Yeah, Mommy's cooking is always good. Fine. If you think my cooking is that bad, don't eat it. You can go hungry. Don't be mad, Papa. I was only trying to be honest about it. Well, don't be so honest. Try being polite instead. But it smells funny. Don't you want me to be honest too, Papa? You're impossible. Laura, Rue Bear, if you can't be nice to your papa, you can leave the table. Hmm. 
That wasn't fair to Papa. No, it wasn't. He just threw a bunch of stuff together in the kitchen, called it a pie, and expects us to like it. Men should stay out of the kitchen. What do you say? We just stay out here and live on our own. That'll teach them a lesson. Oh, fine. They'll be sorry when they find out we can get along without them. But if we do, Laura, you mustn't complain and burst into tears and say you want to go home. Don't worry, I won't. And the same goes for you, too. Don't worry about me. Oh. Laura! Ruby! You can pat me! The most awful thing has happened. We ran away from home. But that's a good dinner I made for you. I can't chew it. It's tough. I won't try it. You're both being rude. That's no way to speak to Mommy when she did her best to please you. We, we don't, don't like it and we, we won't eat it. it. You can go hungry then. All right, we'll, we'll go, go hungry, hungry and we'll, we'll go, go away. away. Then go! Gee, Pammy, that's a lot like us. Mm -hmm. Are you two running away from home too? Yep, they are forcing us to eat that awful stuff. Can we all run away together, Rubeer? Okay? That's fine, Pammy, but we'll have to make a plan. Let's go and see Mr. Duckbill. Yeah, I remember him. Duckbill thought of him, but he said to call him Bill. He'll help us, I just know he will. Well, I think you're making a mistake, but if you've made up your minds, I'll try to help you. There's a tent for you, as good as new. Oh, boy, thank you, Bill, that's great. And thank you for all that other stuff. Just some old things I repaired, you know. But if you need something else, let me know. That's swell, but I think we'll be all right with what we've got now. Bye, and good luck out there. Goodbye, Bill. I think one night will be enough for them. They'll be glad to go home tomorrow morning. What a pile of junk. Still, it was nice of Bill to give it to us. Don't call it junk, Nick. That's everything that we need to make a home for ourselves out here in the woods. We're like pioneers, opening up the wilderness. There now, we're all set. Our home away from home, huh? I must be hungry. My stomach's grumbling. Ah, uh, poor Ruber. I know you didn't have any breakfast. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing. I'll go and cook something for you right now. <gasps> Do you mean you know how to cook? Sure, cookies. That's all I can make, but they're good. And I'll go with you and help you make them, Pammy. <laughs> It looks as if the only thing we'll ever get to eat around here is cookies. That could get monotonous. Nick, did you say something? No, nothing important. It's tea time and they're not back yet. What's become of them? I'm not sure they'd be back for lunch. The poor dears must be hungry by now. You don't suppose Rubert and Laura are really running away from home? I just don't know. I can't imagine why they didn't like this pie. You think I should have put more cheese in it? Mm. Mm. Actually, I think that's a very good eucalyptus pie I made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm coming. Oh, I'm sorry to bother you, but are Nick and Pammy here? No. Oh, my goodness. You mean your children have gone away, too? Not ready yet? It won't be long now, Rupert. Just wait. The first batch got stuck to the stove. I didn't think they'd stay away this long. It's not like them. I'd like to go and find them, but I don't know where to look. Where are you going, Papa? Oh, just for a little walk. I know. He's just as worried about the children as I am. Where can they be? Mr. Koala, you seem to be looking for something. Hello, Weather. Seen anything of Laura and Ruber? No, I haven't seen them today. Are they lost? Well, not exactly. Goodbye. Mr. Koala, there's a rather bad storm coming up. You say there's going to be a storm, huh? Weather says there'll be rain and a high wind. Don't you think my cookies are delicious? 
Oh, no. no, they taste awful and you have to eat them with a stick. Huh? Well, I bet you like them, Nick. I'd just about as soon chew on a rubber tire. <laughs> you two are very insulting about the food we made for you. Yes, and we worked so hard for hours. I see you're not eating any yourselves. I ate a bit to try and found I wasn't hungry. You're just a pair of meanies. <laughs> How can you expect us to make delicious cookies for you way out here in the wilderness? We haven't got any sugar, any butter, just lots of flour. Oh, I'm so sorry, Laura. I didn't mean to make Tammy cry. It's just like it was at home. I don't like the taste of it. What do you mean? I shouldn't have said all those mean things to dear Papa. Hey, Pammy, please forgive me. Because I didn't like my cookies. <laughs> Wait, Pammy. <laughs> it looks like we're going to have a bad storm. Laura, Blue Bear, Pammy, Nick. Oh, dear, we've looked everywhere. Not everywhere. <gasps> Papa. You haven't looked in the place the children love the most. You mean in the forest? Let's go. Like it, Laura? It's really delicious. I love it. Mmm, wonderful. That's the same pie I made this morning. Oh, how come it tastes so good now? You're more willing to try something new. Yeah, maybe we've grown up a bit after our adventure in the woods. It's very important in life to try new things. Papa, I'm sorry for what I said this morning. I'm sorry, too, Papa. I guess I was hard to get along with, too. I was too proud of my pie. 